Hello there, True Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is, of course, your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Guys, get ready. This one is going to be big. Okay, so welcome to my channel where I break down the latest celebrity gossip. Today, we're talking about a bombshell that just came out about Prince William and Prince Harry. And let me tell you, it's not looking good for our favorite ginger prince, guys. Not at all. Word on the street is that William is absolutely done with Harry's nonsense and he's putting his foot down. And honestly, good for him. It's about time someone stood up to Harry and Meghan's ridiculous PR games, guys. Let's go. But uh, hold your horses, guys. Whoa, sit back down. I know you guys are super uh, excited for this video. You can't even control yourself. And I hope you are going to be enjoying our discussions. And you like our videos so far. But this is a chance for me just to say a massive thank you for your love and support. It really helps us out here at the channel. We really do appreciate it. And if you could please do anything to support us by liking the video or even subscribing to the channel to help us pump up those big numbers, it would be a massive help. And also press that all important notification bell as well. That will make sure that you get all of the epic raw news coming straight to your dashboard as soon as it's released every day like we do on this channel. So as we know, this topic can, of course, be very controversial. And your support as a royal watcher definitely helps us share the unedited truth about the Duke and Duchess of Deceitful Harry and Meghan Markle. So thanks for watching, and now let's get right in to today's epic video. Let's get started. Okay, guys. So now here's the deal. According to all experts, William has not spoken to Harry in over a year, a whole year. Can you imagine not taking your own brother, talking to them for that long? It's sad, but at this point, I don't blame William one bit. Let's break down why William is so fed up, shall we? First of all, we've got Harry's little tell-all book spare. What a joke that was. Harry really thought he could air all the family's dirty laundry and there wouldn't be consequences. Come on now, that book was nothing but a pathetic attempt at revenge against the royal family. Harry threw his own flesh and blood under the bus just to make a quick book and get some attention. It is honestly rather disgusting. Really? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. We want to hear what your thoughts are about this, guys. Uh, yeah, we're really interested in that. So let's keep going on with the article. The thing is, Harry keeps claiming he wants privacy and to live a normal life. Away from the spotlight. But then what does he do? He's constantly running to the press, doing interviews, writing books, making documentary for someone who hates the media. So much he does love the attention. It's all hypocritical. And let's talk about Megan for a second, shall we? I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt at first, guys. I really did. But at this point, it's clear as day. She's nothing but a social climber who saw her chance to become royalty and took it. She swooped in, isolated Harry from his family, and now she's got him wrapped around a little finger. Remember that cringy video of Harry schmoozing with Bob Iger? Trying to get Megan's voiceover work. How embarrassing. So yeah, I 100% believe that the report was certainly true that William is now standing massively firm and not letting Harry weasel his way back into the family fold. And honestly, good. Enough is enough. The royal family has a reputation and an image to maintain. They can't have Harry and Meghan running around unchecked, spilling secrets and making a mockery of everything the monarchy stands for. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, but Ben, the brothers, shouldn't family come first? And look, I get it. It's sad to see William and Harry's relationship deteriorate like this. I remember watching those two boys walking behind their mother's coffin, and my heart broke for them. They've been through so much together, but here is the thing. Harry is a grown man now. He's made his choices, and he needs to face the consequences. William has a duty to the crown and to the British people. He can't just forgive and forget, especially when Harry has shown zero remorse. According to royal commentator Jenny Bond, William has always been a strong character with a stubborn streak. She says his tough childhood made him resolute, and once he makes up his mind about something, he sticks to it. And you know what? I believe it. William has really stepped up since the Queen passed away. He's not that awkward young prince anymore. He's a future king, and he's acting like it. Bond says William has become the enforcer of the firm since the Queen 
and Prince Philip died. Apparently, his word carries certainly a lot of weight. Bond says William has become the enforcer of the firm since the Queen and Philip died. Yes, apparently his word carries a lot of weight now. And thank goodness for that, because someone needs to lay down the law with Harry and Andrew as well. Another expert, Hilary Fordwich, claims that William has put an absolute ban on Harry returning to the royal fold in any way. She says King Charles still misses his darling boy and might be willing to reconcile, but William is having none of it. He refuses to even speak to Harry after everything that's happened. Oh, yes. And honestly, can you blame him? Harry has proven time and time again. They can't be trusted. Every private conversation, every family moment, it's all potential fodder. Plus, let's be real. Harry doesn't actually want to come back and be a working role. He wants to have his cake and eat it. He wants all the perks and privileges of being a prince without the responsibilities. So, sorry, buddy. It doesn't work like that. You know, it's funny. Harry's always going on about how he's forging his own path and living on his own terms. But is he really? Because for him, I'm sitting. It looks like he's just desperately trying to cling to the royal status while also playing the victim. Yes, guys, at the end of the day, this is, of course, the behavior that we've come to expect from the Duchess of Deception herself, the moronic Meghan Markle and a hapless ginger winger husband, the herbrained Harry. What on earth do you think about this royal news and analysis, guys? This is incredible. We want to hear from you, so if you could, please leave us a comment uh, down below. It would be a massive, massive honor to read what you have to say and get back to you as soon as possible. The heart of the community is what drives this channel. And if you want more content like this, steaming hot roll news, then do not worry at all, guys. Don't worry one bit. I'll be back soon with some more ow, scalding hot, piping hot, epic royal tea. But, of course, before closing in, guys, you know the epic drill. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to help us pump up those big numbers and share the video to spread the word. Give the video a like, smash the like button, and also turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop some new royal news and analysis. It really helps us out here at the channel. So we really appreciate that, guys. Help us spread the word. And lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you for listening right until the end and for your enormous love and support. So, well, that brings us to the end of the video. So until next time, guys, we will, of course, see you very, very soon for some more in-depth royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now from me. Have a great day. Bye bye.